The first two chapters of the Gospel of Luke were probably added to the rest of the Gospel after it had already been published. Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion, and scholars have noted for a long time that there are a number of considerations that lend support to the notion that someone else wrote the first two chapters of the Gospel of Luke and added them to the Gospel of Luke after it had already been in circulation for a while. For instance, the Greek of chapters 1 and 2 is quite distinct from the Greek of the rest of the Gospel of Luke. We also have Luke 3, 1 beginning the way we might expect the entire Gospel to begin, laying the scene by saying, In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was the governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler in Galilee, and so on. And then we go right into the baptism of Jesus, which is precisely how Mark begins their gospel. And then after the baptism of Jesus, the author says, hey, let's talk about where Jesus comes from. But we already had two whole chapters talking about where Jesus came from, and then we moved on to Jesus' adulthood. So it seems a little out of order. The rest of the Gospel of Luke also never mentions the miraculous events that took place in Luke chapters 1 and 2. So there are a number of reasons to think that this is a secondary addition to the Gospel of Luke. And some scholars think they know why. There was a man named Marcion who was a prominent Christian in the early 2nd century CE who seems to have been a docetist. In other words, he seemed to have denied that Jesus was a real human. He only appeared to be human. And his favorite gospel was the Gospel of Luke, and then most of the epistles of Paul. That was his entire canon. And so some scholars think that chapters 1 and 2 of Luke were added to Marcion's favorite gospel to undermine his docetism by giving Jesus a perfectly human birth. And that would cut off Marcion's docetic rhetoric. Now, that's just one theory we don't know for sure. But something that has increasing support among scholars today is that the Gospel of Luke was probably originally written without the Nativity account, and that was a secondary edition written by a different author.